Right. Uh, so the tools that, uh, that I use, which I think are ideal, is firstly to have a yummy soft blanket in case firstly if it's cold but it also can give a really beautiful feeling of comfort to someone not everyone likes a blanket but it's always nice to have a lovely soft blanket um, so I also have two pillows I'll just pop this down here for a second one that I sit underneath when they're faced up when our client is faced up we pop one under the knees because it's so much nicer on the hip area and of course one underneath <coughs> underneath their head so uh, it's really important to scoop off the negative energy and have a place for it to go and salt <coughs> is the ideal thing to have because what salt does is it sucks up all the negative energy so what you do is you have a bowl just for this purpose you don't go and clean it up put a salad in it it's just for this purpose so you put water into it to up about here so let's say a couple of cups worth of water and perhaps three quarters of a cup and you don't have to be exact with the measurements pop that in the water now I use rock salt but it doesn't have to be rock salt any salt is perfectly fine for this purpose okay and so what I do is I place this bowl in the corner of the room and with the healing that I do I scoop all the negative energy into the bowl so that's where it goes and at the end of the healing what you do is you tip that water down the toilet and when you do, you thank Archangel Michael for transmuting this into healing energy and loving energy for the earth. So it's not bad for the earth. So the next thing that we have, <clears throat> I have a Tibetan singing bowl. I use this because it, it raises the vibrations of not only yourself, also your client. And it has a really beautiful tone. You don't have to have a singing bowl. It's not essential, but it's something that I happen to quite like. And so when my client first comes in, what I do is I sing the singing bowl and I share with them, when I play the singing bowl, it indicates to you it's the end of the healing because I find it a beautiful way to let the person know that the healing is over. And so I use the singing bowl at the beginning, running up the spine, and then at the end, running up the spine, which then clearly tells the client, that you're finished with the healing and they can take their time to come back to the now and come off the table. Okay, singing bowl. <coughs> it's important to have lovely smelling hands because you're going to have a, your hands around their face. And so what I do is I have a hand lotion just uh, without any scent type of hand lotion and I add uh, oils to it. I add, this is the one I love it's meditation oil um, it has 12 fragrances in it it's just one that i happen to love you don't have to have these any essential oil is perfectly fine just to make it so it smells really nice your hands smell nice um smudging i like to smudge the room and smudge myself the uh, incense that i use is sandalwood which is particularly good for uh, smudging also, so too is sage, of course, um, but I find these particularly convenient and smell yummy. And having tissues at hand as well is really important because it's highly likely that tears may flow. And it's always important to have tissues for them. <coughs> the next thing is a candle. It's lovely, lovely to have a candle. It has beautiful ambience. And as we're calling upon light, it seems to just make sense. So with the massage table, or with the table, it really truly must have a hole in it so that a client can very, I'll pick that up in a second, so the client can face down comfortably. And what I have done, and I'm sure there's um, items on the market that are purposeful to make it so that it's comfortable because sometimes you can get nasty little marks from leaning against the table. So I've just happened to have a travel pillow <laughs> and I put a little stitch there and so then when the client puts the face on it it's nice and soft because they need to be very comfortable so I just happen to use a travel pillow but I'm sure there's things on the market for this purpose and I just pop a few little tissues on there here we go and that way they can comfortably turn over 
And what I've discovered is often massage tables are quite narrow. And so what I've discovered is that if you roll up a couple of towels, it just creates a nice little nest and it supports the arms. And so I just roll up a couple of towels either side to lay against them. So, and music, of course. Music is really important. Lovely meditation music just to help everybody just be in this lovely calm space. And so choose beautiful music and um, that's all the tools. Thank you.